everyone. I am going to be doing a Let's Play tonight of this game called Super Liminal, which someone in my Patreon stream suggested last night. And so I looked it up. Turns out that it is the final actually released game of this game I first heard about back in 2014. When I saw a YouTube video that was a preview of this game that was, it was called like Pillow Castles or Pillow Castles was a studio. And I have wanted to play this game since 2014. I had no idea the game was ever actually made, but apparently it was, <laughs> and it's called Super Liminal. So I'm excited to play it. And also, yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt I was wearing last night and in the canceling video. That is because it's the warmest sweatshirt I have and it's very cold in this house because, um, because my heat's broken. And I do have a space heater now, but still it's, um, it's kind of cold. Let's get started. I like that it's still, oh, there's a photosensitive seizure warning. So I suppose I'll pass that on. Um, Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? God, yes. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Uh, or for allowing the that. smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? I guess you could say so. At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. People are saying that the, the game audio is too loud. I'll try turning it down in a second. Lot at the University Medical Center. Let's just get through this first. Somnuscott will make your dreams come true. I love that it's called super liminal because it's, you know, super liminal. Um... Okay, turning down the volume. I can never get the volume right, can I? Um, I'm a boomer streamer. Wait, how is there a super chats? I thought I turned super chats off. I mean, thank you, Miguel. It's nice to see you too. <laughs> but I don't know why there's super chats. I'm, I'm not gonna be paying that much attention to them because I just wanna play the game. I don't know how to turn, I don't know how to turn them off. I'm a boomer. <laughs> Someone help. <laughs> okay, turning desktop audio down, like a bunch of decibels. Let's try that. Okay. Terms of service. Oh God, what have I signed? Oh. It's because I, uh, Whoa, this is, so hold on, is this like a, it looks like, like an airport terminal. I guess it's kind of, I guess they really leaned into the whole liminal spaces thing, huh? Oh, here we go. Perception is reality. I know what to do with you from the Pillow Castles preview from 10 years ago. It wasn't 10 years ago, but it was like seven years ago. Ah! Oh, can you die? <laughs> You die from a job dropping a giant chess piece on yourself. God, this is so cool. I just love this. I'm gonna make it tiny. Is the frame rate bad? Ah! Yeah, I see it looks bad. I don't know how to fix. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do streams. <laughs> how do I, so the frame rate is like amazing on the actual game. So it's a problem with OBS. Um, okay, window capture properties. It's not helping. <laughs> this is, I'm doomed. What are reasons why the frame rate would be bad in OBS capturing, doing window capture? I'm 
I'm just trying to fix the frame rate thing. 10 FPS is not good. I should just call Vosh. Okay, don't use window capture. Well, then what do you use? <laughs> Game capture. Okay, hold on. That's not a thing. That's not an option in OBS. Why am I so bad at streaming? I don't see any other option that I can capture. <sighs> Guys, I am picking programs to capture. I'm picking... It's called Super Liminal Stream is the name of the window. See, I go sources add. There's no game capture, right? G is between I and M and it just goes image slideshow to media source. There's no such thing as game capture. <laughs> Should I just stop streaming? <laughs> Should I just give up? Should I just go to bed? I should just drink the water, the rest of this bottle of wine and go to bed, honestly. Now some people are saying that it's better to use display capture. Oh God. <laughs> God damn it, Joshua. I see it in the window and you're right, it does look bad. Why does it look so bad? Okay, maybe if I turn this, the video settings lower in the game. Okay, like if I go to <laughs> like graphic settings, see I have it turned to high or I've turned it to default. Is this gonna look better? Not really. It looks no better. Is this watchable or is this not worth it? Should I just go to bed? Should I just get drunk by myself? <laughs> what if I just delete all the system files? <laughs> I just I 
Okay, people are saying I should just 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 continue onwards. <laughs> okay. We are in the back rooms here, people. <laughs> Delete system 32. That's honestly probably my best option at this point. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on okay. falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Okay, display capture and crop. Okay, thank you, random days. I'm gonna try it. Okay, guys, we're gonna try this. We're gonna make that go away. We're gonna create a display capture window, which is gonna show It's perfect. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, we can at least check it. Oh, it looks better, right? It looks way better. Okay, whoever just suggested that, it's a good thing I had super chats on because that was actually the correct suggestion. But we, that totally fixed it. Okay, now we just, we just need to do the cropping thing. Okay. Um, no. Okay, add filter. <laughs> I am attempting to do gaming streams on a Mac. Yes, that's probably a big part of the problem. <laughs> uh, crop. No. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm sorry. Someone said hold alt slash option to pull in. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. What? <laughs> no more. Okay, if I turn the filters off. <laughs> Guys, we're so close. We're so close to figuring this out. <laughs> Oh, 
This is really a this is less of a gaming stream and more a stream about figuring out how to stream, <laughs> which is really what every stream of mine is really about. <laughs> a learning how to stream stream, just a troubleshooting. Okay, look at this. Look at that. It's like I'm a goddamn professional. It's incredible, honestly. I really deserve more credit for this. It's time to resume game, kids. The real stream begins now. <laughs> Let's just pretend. <laughs> yeah, streaming my favorite game, OBS. Let's play. C2. Oh god, is there gonna be like puzzles with numbers and... I'm very good at dropping these on my head. I'm gonna make a little collection of tiny, tiny things. Here's my little, my collection of tiny things. Someone, when this is archived, someone should probably post in the, um, someone should probably post <laughs> where the actual stream begins. <laughs> I am I gonna have to like win a game of chess somehow? Ah. Oh, no, I just need to get out there. But what if I, like, checkmate, you know? Like, they're all the same color, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, block. Did it, fam. No objects beyond this point. Okay. Oh man, this is like, it feels like Portal. I haven't been this excited for a game since Portal, honestly. Okay, we need to hit a thing. Okay, I need an object. I don't... Okay, this game's too hard to give up. <laughs> Can I take things through the window? No. Oh wait, that's the way I came in. These are just mirrors. No objects? How seriously do you want to take no objects?
Okay, can't pull it through that way. I can't... Uh, wait, so it's not a mirror. It's... Oh, here we go. Got it. I'm doing very good. I'm literally a genius, honestly. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. This is very portal. Okay, what do we do? What is going on here? Just trying things. I haven't played the Stanley Parable, but I definitely want to. Yeah, I really want to play the Stanley Parable. Okay, what's the problem with this? Oh. I always forget I can rotate. Okay, we've got we've got cheese space puzzles. That was During fun. eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Okay. Evidence. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Oh god, Please it's so the portal. Orientation activity. It's so portal. It's a tooth two portal. Thanks, Jesse. Okay. Oh, it's a little baby switch. What's in here? Oh, I can just take boards down. Oh god, what if, is this game gonna get? No, it's not gonna get scary. Let's not be crazy. Guys, can we just can we talk about how how goddamn liminal this is? Like, it's the most liminal thing I've ever seen. Dream so Warning, down. you have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron, a 
A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Okay, Please Gladys. Please return to the orientation pathway. The cake is a lie. <laughs> it's also very back rooms. I love how back rooms it is. I'm, I'm like devoted to this back rooms quest. I broke it. No more dream soda for me. Well, we know what to do with this. Wait, not that. Give her a little moment. I love how this still has the like piano music that the preview eight years ago had. Okay, broken mirror is a good guide. Love that. So far away is the thing. Well, maybe I'll use that later. making progress. Whew. That's very satisfying. <laughs> Do you guys not know what Muzak is? Are you kidding me? Muzak is not music. perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Okay, Gladys. I just need to put because I'm gonna need to go through on the other side. Oops. Ooh. Oh, you can't. Oh. Oh, I see you to get it over the thing. Haha. <laughs> a soup, a drink? Only if you're a filthy, filthy degenerate.
Ooh. Look at this. Is it, is it a... Oh, it's getting complicated. Oh no, there's no map. <laughs> oh God, is this gonna be, yeah, oh God. <laughs> I see what's happening. Okay, obviously that's some kind of crazy trap. Ooh. Okay, we gotta bring stuff in here. Wait, but we can't because I... Oh. No. Wait, this is... You can... Oh my god. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, wait, that's not the way to do it, is it? Okay, well, Max, you can tell your friend Kirk from me that if you're gonna have a crush on someone, you should, uh, you know. First of all, probably not have crushes on lesbians. It's not gonna go well for you, Orange. <laughs> Second of all, <laughs> should just tell people. Um, okay, what am I doing? Okay, this looping madness. I just want one of these goddamn apples. That's so much to ask. I can't take that sign. So I'm not sure what the point of this is. Oh, because it has to be on boat. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, I can, I can do this. Is it big enough yet? No. Oh, wait, yes it is. I did it. Okay. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. This seems a little sus. <laughs> okay, thank you, Orange. Maybe next time I'll try to know what I'm doing before I start the stream. <laughs> okay. Cheese? No, wait. There's still a brick wall here. That doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> Tips on decorating, uh, just do a lot of Pinterest, I would say. Mm -hmm. 
That w I can definitely knock that thing over. We're in the real back rooms now, kids. Oh, these are my kind of back rooms. Storage. Look at this goddamn storage. It's quality storage. Did I just wake up? All the paintings are of clouds. This is an office, like a creepy dream office, a liminal office. I feel like it's like, okay. Okay. So we've got, what do you think of the meanings of these different kinds of sodas? Red, green, diet, random, baking, mini, and water. I'll come back to it. See if we need a soda for anything first. Ooh, here is a, is a quality liminal hotel hallway, if I've ever seen one. What the fuck? Some doors are best left closed. Okay. Oh shit, I just... <laughs> well, I definitely want some sodas. I want water soda. gonna take this with me. <laughs> this game makes me feel like I'm an Ambien. I miss the Ambien. Where do you get Ambien these days? Besides, you know, in your drink at any bar in Baltimore. Sorry, <laughs> too dark. <laughs> but it's true. Watch out and Baltimore bars. Ooh. Okay, I'm taking my soda. I'm taking it with me. Wait, no, we already went here. Okay, my soda is blocking my view. That's part of my problem. <laughs> I like this hallway a lot. Hmm. OK, 
okay, I'm enticed by this direction. Oh, okay. This is getting very like layers of fear on me. <laughs> do you guys ever, wait, did I do that with my soda? No, it was always like that. I'm so convinced that my soda is going to be useful. <laughs> Despite all evidence to the contrary. My tiny soda. I said I can't take it through here, can I? No. Okay. Well, I gotta make my soda big so I can find it later. big enough. Okay, there's like signs, but you can move the signs, which I should probably not be doing because it's going to make it more confusing. Oh god, it's like a set. It's a movie set. We're not in a real hotel. It's all fake. Okay, I can use this. If I make this bigger, then I can use it to get over the walls, right? freaking smart okay so it's like a movie set this is very like synecdoche new york you know it's like the truman show oh i just named two movies that have nothing to do, to do with each other oh good <laughs> My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Doctor. And I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry. We're it's working on it. It's very special. Okay. So. Does this work? No. Can I? Yes. Wait, is this? No, I've never been here before. Okay, so that's a movie set of a hotel. Now, this is a real hotel. Well, is anything even real, man? This is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, this is like a reception. Yo, look at I feel like if we get this lined up just right, it'll be a cube, you know? <sighs> I feel very high IQ right now playing this game, <laughs> I'm gonna say. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing with this cube, but I feel like it's gonna be useful at some point. I like hotels. I really miss hotels. Because a hotel is, well, I guess a hotel is a classic liminal space, right? It's like, it's a very temporary feeling. You're always like in between things. A hotel always feels like a place. That's why people have affairs in hotels, right? It feels like it does, it's, it feels disconnected, like a dream, right? Um, okay, I've never been up there, right? Okay, well, we know how 
how this works. I need to get up there. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. I'm sure that'll be relevant later. Uh, gotta find the right perspective. Strange. I see. It's a sconce on the wall. And okay, there's a vase. What vase has the right... You gotta be kidding me. Okay, now that's a fake vase. A vase with flowers in it. There's a vase with flowers. Maybe I need to find the vase somewhere? <sighs> I like this red carpet. I like bright red as a color. Yes, it is very Twin Peaks. I feel like this whoever, whoever designed designed the visuals for this game had like a very solid knowledge of like liminal space images, because there's a lot of references that people bring up. Okay, well I'm standing in. Front. And what is that? That's like. Okay, so perspective. That's like the, look at that. That's a table, that completes the table, see? <laughs> this is a very high level idea is going on <laughs> in my head right now. <laughs> Do you see how that completes the table? Oh wait, but I need to get the bottom thing place okay that made a sound like I did it oh girl this is like this is this is like the hardest my brain has worked since the I did like the the mathematics GRE because this math is like, this kind of thinking is like really not what I'm good at. So. Oh, it's like, okay. Interesting. Oh God, the designer slash producer of the game is in the chat. <laughs> Well, um, okay, no pressure. Um, your game is good. Love you, Gorge. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Now I feel like I'm. Now, I'm, now I feel like someone's looking over my shoulder while I read their novel. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like reading George R. R. Martin. It's like reading Game of Thrones on stream while George R. R. Martin is in the chat. I hope I didn't say anything bad about it. I didn't really say anything bad about it. Except that I made fun of how the computer is just Gladys. <laughs> well, well, it can't get mad at me, I'm right. <laughs> okay, we need another door here in order to make this one come to life. Where are we gonna find another door? Okay. I feel like... I feel like we need to get up there, obviously. Well, let's just grab our little cube. And just make 
like a little staircase. Perception is reality. It's true. Okay. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Are you, is this the door hinge? It's another part of the door for sure. Or is it, dust, or is it just duct tape? Oh, it's very good. What the fuck? I feel like it's gotta be, okay. Maybe we, perception's reality. We should stand on top of the thing that says that maybe. Can't be right. I'm doing it wrong. No, it's gotta be this, right? Am I being a dum dum? Oh, there we go. satisfying okay back rooms I feel like this is really a defect like why does the shining not have rooms like this in it I feel like that would be an, an obvious place way for it to go I guess it has the kitchen like you know like it is in the kitchen and the shining kind of feels like this kind of back roomy hello my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hi, Dr. Pierce. And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Okay. <laughs> Makes a sound. What? That's a beautiful moon. Can I move? Can I touch? Can I pick up the moon? <laughs> can I jump? Is this broken? <laughs> Did I fall out of the world? <laughs> I'm a developer in chat, help me. <laughs> I'll just load the thing. This is actually the sunken place. <laughs> also, can I just say that like, this game, <laughs> like this is exactly the kind of thing that would just happen in this game. <laughs> Chris, what do I do? <laughs> okay, reset the checkpoint. Honestly, here, here's what I'll say in your defense, Chris. Some of the best games are very glitchy, like Morrowind. Morrowind is one of the best games of all time, and it doesn't work at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we go through here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward 
and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Okay, so I forget where that out of... Okay, I guess this is new, so I guess we fixed it. I wonder if I've exposed a problem that will be fixed in the, like, beta version of... The, or sorry, the, not the beta, the, like, next patch or whatever. Um, okay, so I need to get up there. How do I get up there? I need a thing. Anything at all. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, Glenn Pierce's voice has a very Kurt Skazak thing going on. Yes. Okay, wait, I can go here. No, that's the way I came, right? Right. No, it's not. This is new. No, it is the way I came. Oh, this is all this is all very back rooms. The terror of the back rooms is that everything looks the same. Oh, I also just realized that at the beginning of the game, there was that like melted pawn, and I was like, what do I do with this? Obviously, what I was supposed to do with it was like line it up for the perspective, but I didn't know that yet. I feel like I can't know. It's got to be something out here, right? What am I missing? Oh. Got it. I love these checker cubes. Oh, wait, I made it too big. I can't get on top of it. Big, too big. Because this might be too high. No, it's perfect. Just kidding. Okay, now what do I do with this? I just opened a port, like a door into. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, there are no mods and I'm like. I wanna make this like Statue of Liberty sized throwback to the preview in 2014. Also, it's like, it's like Statue of Liberty colored. Okay, warehouses. Oh, this is a good vibe. Okay, there's the, um, you know, there's the moon, <laughs> the forbidden moon. <laughs> Why are the people talking about wibbly wobbly doors? Okay, I'm just gonna ignore the chat. is Dr. Glenn Pierce and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. 
will all of this work? Wait, uh, so uh, Chris said I should. Wait, what did he? <laughs> I'm sorry, I already forgot it. What did he? What did he say I should do with the wibbly wobbly doors? <laughs> can I make Chris a mod so he can just? Chris, can you just call me? <laughs> can you just? <laughs> okay. What if I just called Chris? <laughs> I just. I think that kind of defeats the purpose of a game if you have the developer talk you through it over the phone. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that was not helpful. <laughs> okay, move through the wibbly wobbly doors quickly. Got it. Do a barrel roll. Got it. Okay, well, what do I do when, when there's a fucking plywood or whatever kind of wood this is, particle board thing nailed over the door? Can I move through that quickly? What if there's wood on the door? What then, Chris? What then? <laughs> okay, I <laughs> see. Oh, so I'm like way up in the rafters. Okay, I moved through that door so quickly. Okay, something up here, wait a minute. Is that the goddamn moon? There's things on the moon. Oh no, I put it too high up. What the fuck? The moon just floats. I need to get it bigger though. Okay, we got soda. We got a radio. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. Okay. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. Okay, we'll do Glenn. Okay, wasn't that... That's convenient. Okay, the elevator. Oh god. I have no reflection. Am I a vampire? Is this a vampire game? Oh god, I woke up, it's 4 a.m. now. Okay, snooze. I wonder if something different happens if you snooze as opposed to not snooze or snoozing. I feel like I've definitely been here before. Okay, let's do a different kind of soda this time. Random soda. I wonder if that just means one of the others or if it, that's a specific kind of soda. Okay. This seems new. I don't remember the pipes. Ooh, a vibraphone. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to I use really an like alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Okay.
Because I have to pee. <laughs> and I, should, I should go do that. Other streamers are serious about this and like they take G fuel, which apparently makes you wake forever and never have to pee, but I just am mainlining champagne all the time, so. I'll stand here so you guys get the good music while I'm gone. Uh, hopefully my parents don't come running through the door trying to smash my face. Be right back. <laughs> Honestly, chair stream with this game's soundtrack is like peak liminal. Also, I just realized my phone's been dead. Started. Okay, we came that way. This looks like a museum. Yo, this looks like the um, the old trailer, the old preview. Perception's reality. Okay. Okay, Doctor Pierce, communicating with me through the March nineteen ninety one calendar. Oh God. 1991, that's a very liminal year. Wiring diagrams, okay. Curators only, yep, it's a museum.
Okay, we're gonna get. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna do every fire alarm because it's in my nature. What some people call a maverick. Okay, we got it. Okay, got it. This this game makes me want to be a cocktail pianist, honestly. Pillow is our castle. Some people are saying my volume's low, like my mic volume or the game volume or both. Maybe your computer volume's just low. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, it's like a fake dice. It's like to split in half. I like museums, I miss museums, oh my God. Think for the people who are working in empty museums. Think how liminal their lives are right now. Mic volume's too low? Okay, hold on, let me see if I can turn it up. Mic volume is too, okay. Okay, what about now? Is it better? Okay, what about now, 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 now? Is it, that, okay, that didn't do anything, did it? I don't know how to, maybe it's just the game volume that's too loud. Let me try turning that down more. Okay, now you guys are gonna have to turn your volume up. I miss museums so much. How did I get here? I don't, ah! If I go down here, am I gonna fall into the moon again? Oh God, it's like a creepy crawl space. All right, I don't think I wanna go down there without this. Oh God, that's so scary. This is a horror game, I'm sorry, but that, this crawl space is a horror game. Guys. Okay, they could have made that way scarier, but presumably they didn't want to make a horror game, so they decided not to. Whoa. The fuck? It's like anti-gravity. Weird that I can't pick that up. Chris said I'm doing well. Wow, thanks, Chris. I'm glad. You're the only one whose opinion counts. That means everything. <laughs> okay, if I put this up, then it'll be huge, right? And then it... Okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. Am I fucking myself here? Okay, I need to get it at a different angle, like, maybe that angle, no. Let's get like over here. Yeah. There we go. Let's put the, wait, if I don't, if I get rid of the light, then things are gonna get very scary. 
So that's what I'm going to do. Exactly that. Oh, God, this is terrifying now. What's in here? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The ducts. Professional tip. The average okay. adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. I feel like I can handle Please that. subject yourself to explosive mental overload. It just sounds like the last year, honestly. I think green soda is the first soda I had and wait. Apples and the dice instead of dots. Okay. Oh. What's that? Was just painted on. How is the music balanced with the microphone now? Because I feel like the music is important in this game, so I want you to be able to hear it, but I also don't want it to overpower my admittedly quiet voice. Complicated. I love there's like Jenga with the crates. Whatever you call these things, pallets. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. Okay, well, you know what, Gladys? Mental overload has never really been a problem for me before, and I doubt it's going to be a problem now. So, <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, okay. Well, that was a hall of mirrors. Oh. All right. Well, whatever. What is the one? What is the what is the ramp trick? Um. How does that work again? <laughs> oh, that's so fun. <laughs> Why do I feel like this game is going to end as a janitor in an empty high school in a snowstorm sweeps, like at the end of, <laughs> um, I'm thinking of ending things. I feel like that's the direction this is all headed. 
I don't know if I, I can take it. Eh. Hopefully that's not what she meant by mental overload or whatever. Let's see. Okay, Christopher Floyd, I'm gonna mod you so that you're... So I can see you better. Don't give me hints yet because I'm not ready. <laughs> I don't need hints yet. I'm doing amazing. Okay. Okay, this is, um... This is very like how Emperor Palpatine dies. Oh God. <laughs> I wasn't trying. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, we could just. Okay, we can't. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Um. Let's take a look at these insane diagrams. Dream layers of the mind. I'm here. Okay, so the mind is a cheese. Got it. And like a cheese, the mind has slices. Testers. Highly affect dr dreams, emotions, and expectations. Jonas Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith. Bart Blagoff. Pencil, phone, banana, light bulb. Hmm. Feeling lucky? Oh, a casino. Oh my God, this makes me feel like I'm at um, a Maryland Live. Wow, this is madness. <laughs> I miss casinos. I miss Vegas. I miss how liminal those places are. Okay, 5 a.m. is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel I sure like am. everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? I don't know, Glenn. I ask myself that every day. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, sodas. I feel like I've done all the sodas. I mean, not diet. Be a change of pace for me. Lol, lol, lol. <laughs> I like how this also feels like a hotel, but like not a good hotel, like a La Quinta, you know. These are birds of paradise plants. I know what the names of house plants now. Oh boy. <laughs> we have some serious warehouse. Oh boy. <laughs> oh God. Oh no. Okay, my soda will keep me safe. I'm just gonna run to the red. Run to the red, run to the red, run to the red.
guy. More storage. I feel like the drain in the floor, that's a little sinister. Wait, is this the way I came? Yes, Christopher, gonna give me a new computer. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, I think that's the way I came. Either way, I don't like it. I feel like, oh. So I feel like um I feel like there should be a diner in this game. I feel like all this game is missing is a diner in terms of a classic liminal. Actually maybe only I I don't know, do other people find diners to be liminal? I find them I find I love diners in part because of that like out of time feeling that a diner at like midnight has. Fuck, I miss diners so fucking much. You know what I used to do all the time? I used to when 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 COVID wasn't happening. I used to go, I saw Dan Bell mention in the chat. I used to always go to diners with Dan Bell. There's nothing more liminal than being in a diner with Dan Bell at 1 a.m., let me tell you that. <laughs> it's ketchup, yeah, that's probably it. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Murder. Be beans, cute. Uh, okay, so we're in like, we're in a murder diner. No, we're in a murder back rooms. I'm getting, I'm getting um I'm getting psyched out. I feel like my my puzzle solving skill is decreasing as my fear of murder rises. <laughs> uh, okay, we gotta do something. How do we get out of here? This door is very closed. This the only well lit area appears to lead nowhere except murder. Can't grab the sign. Can't grab that light. That's a grab light. No, it's not. Good thinking, though. Whoever this one. Nope. Look at these. No, 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 no. No. What if I just run into the dark? Yep, that's the solution. Just run into the dark. <laughs> oh, here's the diet. Here's the cases of diet. Why only diet? What kind of diet guzzling murder lurks in these halls? <sighs> okay. Okay, this is getting honestly kind of scary. Okay, the beans thing again. Or have I been here before? Was I always here? <laughs> oh God, that was supposed to happen, right? <laughs> okay, beans, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is a pit that leads to, yeah. Oh, wait, I jumped over the thing. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I got this. Okay, so it's just, it's like a classic invisible path situation, right? So I jump up here. No. Is there a light anywhere? That would be really helpful. Light, light, no. Is there like a, anything? No, I, oh. God damn it. 
Okay, what if we don't go that way? And if we instead... Wait, that's the only way. Anyone else want beans? Okay, this we can follow. Wait. Okay, goes here. Okay, the light came on. It's creepy. But I'll allow it. I think the game pulls some kind of jump scare on me, like, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, Chris just put a, a free code for the game on chat in the chat. Use code queen. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, Glenn. Sweet Hello. Glenn. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. Thank God, I've been. I'm hoping someone would. Because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else it's is true, enjoying. Glenn. It's really true. And that's exactly why we're here to help. I wish I was playing this game in a diner, <laughs> an abandoned diner at like 3 a.m. That would be perfect, don't you guys think? Maybe I am in an abandoned diner. Maybe we're all in an abandoned diner at 3 a.m. You know, at heart. Wow. Look at this chess piece. Honestly, Chris, I'm glad you're here because I really like this game and like, I feel like I don't usually get to, it's kind of an unusual experience to like, get to go through someone else's art with them right there. I'm really into this. This doesn't make me feel things. Make me feel, feel things about abandoned diners. The owls are not what they seem. Well, okay, we just gotta commit, it's a leap of faith to, to jump into the darkness. Oh God. Oh, but the darkness, it's only in the darkness where you can see that there's a pawn here that I can't pick up. Wait, hold on. Is something broken? Hold on. My, I, don't have the, I don't have the cursor. Something going on, going on with the cursor, I think. I think it's because Messages are coming up. Cause I'm just seeing my regular computer cursor instead of the game cursor. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Goddamn Max. Why am I using a Mac? Why is anyone using a Mac? Chris, am I supposed to be able to pick this up? I feel like I'm not. See, cause when I, do you see what I'm talking about? When I go to this, now I have the game cursor. literally just go forward but that sign says go this way but also what am I going to do with a fucking pawn anyway like, there's no way to go up here. Just Alt-Tab in and out. Okay, hold on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Got it. I honestly, I can, I'm not good enough at computers to be doing streams. Someone constantly needs to be talking me through it. Okay, well, I can't pick up the pawn anyway, but at least now I have my cursor back. Okay, well that arrow is definitely telling me to go this way. Oh, there's stairs. That's why I'm going up. Okay. And here there's like lights that reminds me of like 
a hallway in a movie theater. You know what I mean? Where the lights are on on the floor. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by okay. descending into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. Inception you are here, responsible you. for failing to make this crucial distinction. Guys, we totally hacked it. We, we did it. Um, okay. A dark room. Let's develop some photos. Oh, red light is so scary. I say in a room with a red light literally behind me. Okay, in the past we've been able to move these. Okay. Okay, let's use perspective. Okay. We're gonna use an exit sign to exit. It's pretty deep if you think about it. And it's even deeper if you don't. Well, this is what's causing the light, so it's brighter now. Is there something written on this? It's not now, it's just scratched. Okay. What if I take this out? Because I now have a light, effectively. I can take this. Okay, I can't go back that way. really scary. Can I knock these boxes down? I just I've got a plan here. sucks. I don't think I'm doing the right thing. Or am I? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. No. Why is it doing that? stuck is this game over <laughs> I should have put that thing up here so there's more light okay hold on I might have to go back to a checkpoint or am I just being not I think I've trapped myself okay I'm taking the yeah take the light with me that's a good idea Okay, resetting the track checkpoint. Okay. I'm gonna do this now. Just get the light. Use it as a light. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Let's 
Let's make it a little bigger, maybe. Okay, now it's a light. Here we go. A properly functioning light. Oh yeah, it's gonna get me through this maze. Okay, that was a really good idea. else in here that looks interesting? No, I think we're good. Let's just leave the light on and then... Okay, emergency generator. Um, let's get a red soda. Why do I always get a soda? I just, it's just fun to get the sodas. I just want it. Can I go? Alright, I think we've learned. Okay, we know we can't take that with us because it's a what? What did I just do? Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is you can't right, you can't spawn through windows. Okay, it's fine, whatever. I just want more light. I like how it's like really bright. Okay. Is this scary? Okay, that's just bricks. The diet sodas. Okay, where to next, guys? Oh, right, you can go over, I always forget this. It's the thing I'm worst at, is I forget that you can go over the thing. Wait, or can you? That's just a wall. Okay, I'm dumb, just kidding. Uh, achievement unlocked, environment saved, I love that. dark as hell in here. I'm not gonna worry about it. We can come back if we get a... <gasps> that knife is scary. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. I feel like this is the best game to be playing at 2 a.m., you know? Okay, that's not beans. It's like squash or cucumber. Okay, but okay, what is this telling us though? It's telling us shadows. Shadows exist. Shadows are a thing. Ooh, that's crazy. It's Ikea, but idea. Oh, the generator. Okay. Okay, we're in the conference room at the hotel. This is the kitchen. This 
Symbolic meaning and brain waves. Okay, that's a generator, not a projector. Why am I thinking like it's a projector? Okay, this might just be red paint. I think it's just red paint. Okay, we, don't, we have another, we have another board. We're living in a fake world, people. This was all designed by some nerds with a whiteboard. Order more red paint. Projection. Symmetrical layout. Portal prototype. Love that. Fuck, I still wish I could go to a diner. Enjoy avocados. I'm definitely a vampire. Oh God, the clocks are multiplying. It is 6 a.m. and there's six clocks. I snoozed them all. Am I really getting brigaded by 4chan? Wow, what year is it? <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You're not gonna get anything else out of me. Sorry, I'm not, uh, I will not be your, I may be an ex poster, but I will not be your clown. Um, okay. Okay, we're back in a hotel lobby, in an office of the hotel lobby. I feel like I'm always gonna be diet from now on. I feel like one of these fire extinguishers is gonna do something, but it doesn't. This is one of the most chaotic game chats I have ever had. Annoyance is gone. The developer of the game I'm playing is here. 4chan is brigading. It's all just happening. I, I mean, honestly, I'm just inclined to let it let it happen. Embrace chaos, you know? Okay. So all the things we can use to put on the switch are bolted to the floor. Yeah, good call, Xander Hall. That's, uh... I would have muted that one too. Um, we need a thing to put on us. Oh wait, the sodas. Ah, how could I forget about this? Wait, no, that was too, that was, okay. I'm a dummy, just kidding. Thanks, Kelly. Okay, what do I have to do about this? We need something. 
Who bolts a giant pawn to the floor? What is the subconscious significance of this? Obviously, being stupid. Just try going back. Oh, right, that. <laughs> I forgot I can move that. Oh, okay. One. Honestly, I'm fine with Warchamp being here as long as they behave themselves. We've got a Russian doll situation on our hands. Complete madness. Dominoes. Oh, you know, I just need a ramp. Can I domino it? No, because it keeps just duplicating. Okay, well, I'm not just making a big pile of doors. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well. Everything in here is like this. Sure. thinking about something. Let's try to be smarter. Push bar to open. What does that mean? What about the other shadow thing? Okay. 
So, okay, I see that you can get up here. But how? Oh, wait, if I make a little stack, I see. Okay, I did it. Okay. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Click to return. The fuck? Do I want to return? Okay, so first of all, can I get the. Okay, I need to make this a little bigger. It's reality. What the fuck? Why is my cursor a little smiley face? Do you guys see that? Hold right click for fun. <gasps> what? Okay, I see. I understand. I understand what I've done. I got it now. <laughs> Smiley faces in the chat. I think I fucked up. Okay. Click to return. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, interesting. It's like the opposite. Breaking. Yo, what the fuck? And these ones just duplicate. Okay. Let's find out what I'm trying to do first. Hey, Annie, how are you? 
Okay, my cursor's not a smiley anymore. Eh. Okay, what's over here? Uh, you're welcome, 23 locks. Sorry, I just, I just, um. Okay, Chris says this room, oh no. Chris says this room is a real test. So we'll have to see how hardcore of a gamer I am. That's an apple, not a cherry. Okay, so we've got a fan. Fans? We all know what fans do. What's up here? A switched off door. Okay. Oh, it's a switch. Okay, so we just gotta get a, a thing, an apple up here. Well, it's not that hard. Oh, we know. <laughs> this is the duplication, sorry. Derp. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think I can do this. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, sh the fan. God damn it. Okay. Come here. Okay, watch. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so wait, hold on. I want it to be sm Can I move the fan? That's a good question. <laughs> okay. I feel like I've got to get just like click hard enough and maybe. All right, that's not working. I cannot move the fan, at least not this way. God damn it.
I did it. Oh my god, guys. I did it. That took honestly longer than it should have. Because that actually... What's funny about that is it's actually kind of like cutting Warning. the Gordian knot Dr. puzzle. Like it's easier than it's simpler than you think it's going to be. Grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these okay. errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Okay. I did it. Okay, new code in chat. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. ER <laughs> has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. What? Oh god, it's an entire new machine. Not functional though, but if we... Pierce, Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care Pierce, leader, Dr. Glenn. 10 development. Condition struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Age science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And but, no ifs or luck good. Okay, well, he's... Dr. Pierce is glitching out fully. Healthy produce. I didn't even see the 4chan message. Guys, if you're asking me about a thing that I obviously don't want to talk about, why do you think I'm going to talk about it? Just because you keep asking. Because I'm supposed to placate some website that's just a bunch of Huns calling each other Huns? Yeah, I think not. What motivation do I have to get involved in something like that? Zero. Zero motivation. Am I in a... Oh, wow. I feel like that's the afterlife. 
Can I go there? If I wanted to get called a hun, I'd just go to any diner in Baltimore. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. I like this room too, this Chris. You did really good. That you have reappeared <laughs> on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Okay. What am I doing? <gasps> oh, no. Okay. How big should this be? too big, I can't get up. Or I, I thought I need a, um, okay, too small. Perfect size. Wait, maybe. It's still too small. Cardboard house. It's a perfect size now. Uh, yeah, Xander Hall, I think that's reasonable. Well, actually, I don't know. Is that reasonable? How are you supposed to tell Hans that they look great, Han, if you can't say the word Han? <laughs> In my, in my opinion, by the way, the canonical spelling is H-O-N. I'm fully through the looking glass right now. Okay, we gotta make this, we gotta change the side of the sides of this. Oh wait, no, I already, mm. okay, so I'm in a new house. I just, okay, what was I saying five seconds ago about changing the size of things? Okay, it's still too small. I love it too, Leviathan. Oh wait, that made that did not work, did it? Oh God, I'm tempting fate. Look at this Morrowind bullshit that I've done. <laughs> huh? <laughs> wow. 
That is somehow simultaneously super glitchy and also effective. It fully works. Doctor, help me. No. Are you kidding me? Does the pitch change? Can I make it faster? Can I make it super high pitch? I like a high pitch. Guys, can I pause you to game to tell you a story? When I was a kid, like when I was like five years old, like a baby, basically a baby, when the TV turned to static, which was like a regular occurrence in those days because you had CRT TVs, black and white static, me and my brother made up a word for that. And that word was gosha. In my head, it was spelled G O S. H A Gasha and we were afraid of Gasha so when I saw Poltergeist when I was like 12 I like peed my pants okay I just needed to say I just needed to get that out there okay I feel like that was actually probably in retrospect that was too much information Chris oh my god are we talking about Candle Cove that's one of my favorite creepy pastas. Hello, my name is Dr. Gwen Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences <laughs> that you may have recently had. Everything okay. should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. It's really weird to me that the chat is talking about Gasha because like I haven't honestly have had a conversation about Gasha since I was like six years old and talking to my four-year-old brother. It's just adding to the surreal quality of this game. I love it. Okay, Glenn. Oh, these are birds of paradise. Xander banned Vulcan. They can't think of anything to post besides the most generic transphobic nonsense <laughs> imaginable. X chromosomes. That's very good. You're doing a very, very... <gasps> Good. Wait, sorry, what did Chris just ask? Can I give a heads up on why I'm playing? I'm playing because someone in my um in my Patreon stream suggested it. And then I looked the game up and I was like, oh my god, this is that game that I saw the trailer for in like 2004. And I always wanted to play it. Since the second I saw that pillow castles, like, thing with the weird piano cocktail jazz and the Mozart symphony, sorry, the Mozart piano concerto 21, and the museum and the chess pieces, I always wanted to play this game. And I'm like, I'm so happy that it's finally a real game. Did I say 2004? Sorry, I meant 2014. <laughs> it's okay, Chris. It takes a long time to make things that are good. 
I understand because my own audience doesn't understand this sometimes. Okay. Wet floors. Uh, I love the music, by the way. Like the cocktail piano is such a perfect choice. Hey Marina, hey, how are you? Um, okay, I came in this way. How do I get out? I really like Rock Modern Off Concerto 3. Hmm. That's not a bird of paradise, it's a poem. Oh, thank you for the soundtrack link. This is a mystery, honestly. Red carpet. Yeah, I know, I know, Marina. I should stop asking people how they are because, you know, the best answer is like, fine by 2021, but it's the 2020s standards, whoa. It's crazy. Okay, so I can go in there. Okay, we're gonna work on that in a second. I just wanna see if any of these other windows come up unattached. did it. Who's my favorite composer for piano? Um, well, for piano specifically, I feel like Chopin understands the instrument the best, but like, and I do love Chopin a lot. I don't know, but I really, I'm like, I don't know. I'm a real, I'm like a musical reactionary. Like I really love Mozart and Bach. Honestly, that's like kind of my bread and butter as a as a shitty amateur pianist myself. Okay, we're in a locker room. Oh God, we're in a locker room. <laughs> Panicked transgender sounds. I don't wanna be in a locker room now. Okay, let's get out of here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my okay. favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage That's of death, super true. the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Okay, I'll do my best, Gorge. Like a bouncy castle. Oh, it's not bouncing. It's too big. Okay, okay, we need to... Interesting. I wish this was bouncier. This is a pool. This used to be a pool. Okay, okay, 
Oh, I understand. I'm doing good, you guys. Oh, wait, what? I think I made this too big. Oh God. Too good. Guys, how do I? too big. <laughs> I feel like I'm moving really slow. Am I, am I moving really slow? so slow. <laughs> Wait, I'm tiny. No, I don't want to be tiny. I don't want to be tiny. faster. Okay, I'm trying to get up to that exit. Okay, I'm just being, I'm just being an idiot, honestly. Too tiny. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hold on. I have to fix this. I have to be less tiny. Okay, I'm gonna be, I need to be huge.
Okay, I think I'm doing this. Also guys, I'm kind of drunk in case you didn't notice. I've just finished one bottle of wine. It's not that drunk. Oh, I'm huge. Wow. Ew. Did it. I'm really tiny, fuck. <laughs> Why is this room causing me so much trouble? It's because I'm drunk. I'm so petite, I'm so biological. I'm too small, I have to be bigger. This is not acceptable. This is so hard. Why can't I do this? This is making me feel like my spatial reasoning skills are like... Okay, can I do it while I'm like... <laughs> I'm bad. Okay, let's let it rest. No, <laughs> guys, I'm having a really hard time. They can't get inside it. <laughs> no, no. The ledge, use what ledge? Oh, this ledge? <laughs> okay, I put the castle in the pool. I, I can't even get up. How do I reset? Okay, how do I reset? Reset, okay, reset the checkpoint.
Okay, let's not be stupid this time. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's try this. I just need to get up there, right? Eh, no. This one, the hardest one for me. I'm too drunk. I should maybe go to bed. No, I want to beat it though. Am I close to the end? If I'm like really far from the end, then I should just go to bed. But if I'm close to the end, then I should just. I should just adopt more of a winning attitude. I'm halfway. <laughs> okay, I should maybe do this a second stream when I'm less drunk. Oh no. Where'd it go? <laughs> reset, reset, reset. I think I'm too drunk and stupid to play to, to, to finish this game tonight. Are the 
locker room. It's been a while. Okay, just make it through the stage. Okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Great. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature. I think my brain has just broken. <laughs> Honestly. Doing amazing. Wait, am I tiny? Oh. Wait a minute, I got an idea. What if I make it tiny on purpose? Okay, what if I, did I do it, did I do it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, I think I did it. <laughs> Guys, I think it's time to go to bed. We're checkpointed. Wait, hold on. Is there a way? Is this? Is there saving? Yes, save and quit. Oh wait, now I'm looking at my own stream stuff. Ah, uh, okay, guys. I think it's time to go to bed. And we will do this again in a day or maybe in a few days. But um, this was fun. I'm going to go drink water. And um, love you guys. <laughs> a good night. A good night. Liminal dreams. <laughs>